Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword HD. Boy, I almost said so many different things that were wrong there. Good God. <laughs> anyway, today we continue on into our next dungeon, the um, Earth Temple, I believe this one is called. So I actually did want to save the opening of the door for this episode. Because why not? And down we descend into the Earth Temple. I guess this is kind of descending into the Earth Temple, isn't it? Because we're going down into it. Okay, so here we are. Hold on one minute. Alright, had to turn off an air purifier I have in my room. Thought it was too loud. Didn't want it really messing with the recording. Wasn't sure if you guys could hear it or not, but I prefer to not risk it. So here we are. Money! Alright, I don't remember this dungeon being overly difficult. As a matter of fact, I remember being able to beat most of these dungeons completely by myself in this game. I don't even know what I did there, but okay. 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 Money? Guessed it. I think... I need a sneeze. I think small keys are only in, like, actual chests in this game. Hey, look, it's sir. Oh, shoot! Okay, oh my god, come on, really? Seriously? Just two hearts? Okay, I'll take it. I mean, I guess it helps. Money! More money! More money! More money! More money! Mm -hmm. Okay, no more money. How you doing, my friend? My partner's gone missing, and those red guys are everywhere. I never should have come here. Oh, it's you again. Come all this way in search of your friend, eh? That reminds me. Before I came in here, I saw the weird-looking blonde girl get dragged away. But don't even dream about going to the rescue. Those baddies are everywhere. If you want to live to live again one day, you should head home for home, pal. Do you not see the sword on my back and the shield on my back? I'll be fine, trust me. I've dealt with a lot worse in my day. For God's sake, I saved the world on occasion. Out. Okay. Oh, I remember this. Oh, I remember this. Oh, I remember this. You see the other one, right, guys? <laughs> like, they purposely put that there in the cutscene so that you could see it. There we go. I thought I was going to miss for a second there. That one really holds that whole thing up a lot, huh? Alright. Here we go. Okay. Master, I am detecting new enemies ahead. They appear to be creatures of a very significant physical ability. Press ZL to target an enemy, then down to call me. I will sh then share any data I have on that enemy. Listen, Fi, I don't need your help to- Ow! Ow. Oh, pfft. I sent him into the lava. I can't believe I got hit that many times fighting that guy. What the heck? I'm usually better than that. Then again, I guess it's my first time fighting this guy in a while, so... At least now I know how to do it. Swing horizontally and then strike. Uh, 
okay, hold on. Should be able to do this like this. There we go. If it ever explodes. Thank you. Oh boy, I remember this. Alright. Well then, uh, if this is the case, I guess we shall move around the room in kind of like a... Kind of like a clockwise-y... Or is this counterclockwise? No, this would be clockwise, wouldn't it? Mate. Yeah, so you can fight those guys with Skyward Strikes. Ah, oh, shoot. Messed up. Yeah, it's gonna be too late. Oh! Oh, did I get it? Yeah! What's in there? A chest. Good. That's probably gonna be some sort of small key or a dungeon map or something similar. Are there even- is there even such a thing as a compass in this game? I don't think there is. Oh, bro, really? That was useless. Okay, I do have actually a question, though. Because I'm not too sure, because I don't think I've ever seen it. Does Skyward Sword have a randomizer to it, or no? If it does, I would feel that that's literal insanity with a randomizer with this game. Just simply because of, well, aspects of this game, needless to say. Okay. So you can take your sword out on this thing, that's good to know. What do we got in here? Looks like it's something slightly more- okay. Really bloody useless. Thanks, game. Yeah, we got another amber relic, though. And more money! We're actually gonna need quite a bit of money. Um... Because the next shield that we have to buy is pretty expensive. It really is. It's quite expensive. Get out of here. I'm trying to solve a puzzle here if you couldn't tell. Okay. There's one. Now we gotta do that on the other side. Plus, I believe this is the room where I can actually get the bombs. If I'm not mistaken. If you're paying attention, you can see that it looks like Link can actually slip off of this thing, and he will. He most certainly will. If he feels like it. I'm not going to try to show it off, because I prefer not to... Get out of here. Alrighty then. Blast! I must have dropped it earlier. Hey! Nice timing, pal! It's me, Lead! You showing up here must must mean we're connected somehow. You know, like fate or something. Anyways, do me a favor and get my bomb bag, okay? I was behind that rock looking for treasure when those creeps showed up. I panicked and hit the road, but looks like I dropped it. It's a bag for carrying around bomb flowers. Can't imagine not having one. Oh, hey. I guess I don't have time to imagine it, because I lost mine. Anyways, it's back there. Do me a favor and get my bomb back, back will ya? Yes, sir. I'll get your bomb bag back. Just give me a freaking minute. Hi, right, big boy! Get out of here. What's up here? Hello? Pots. Nice. Money. Always important to have. Pick up this bomb, walk over here, and BOMB BOWLING! That might not be close enough, never mind it was. Wow, the bombs have really big explosions in this game, jeez. Okay, and in we go. Dude, Link must have, like, really good strength to be able to just open doors like that. Hey, buddies, come on.
Okay, one down, one to go. Shoot, I messed up. Got him. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy, baby. I probably could use my shield for that spin attack, but... Or that attack that they have with their tail. But why would I do that when I could just jump backward? Plus, I don't know the timing on it, so... But anyway... Ooh, another lizard tail. And bomb bag. Booyah, baby. Okay, so cool thing about the bomb bag in this game. You can actually just collect bomb flowers. And, like, pick up the bomb flowers from the ground and put them in your bomb bag. Which makes, the, makes life a lot easier in this game because then you no longer have to go out and buy bombs if you run out. Hey, you found my bomb bag! Sorry to put you through that. I guess I owe you one now. So let me have it. What's this now? You wanna borrow it so you can go deeper into the volcano? Oh right, you're looking for your friend. You sure have put yourself out there getting this far. That reminds me, how's my pal? He's worried for you, bud. He's worried about me? What kind of pal am I putting him through that? You must be worried too, not knowing if your friend's dead or alive. Jesus, that went dark. Not letting you borrow my bag bag, though. Nope. I'm giving it to you. Just don't blow yourself up. Ho oh, yeah! Now you've got my bomb bag. Go find your friend. Hold up! I forgot to tell you something. Knowing me, that bomb's probably empty. So let me give you a little something to get you started. Huh. If you run out of bombs, just find some more and fill the bomb bag back up. When you've got a bomb flower, press B to put it in the bag. Don't forget, you get, that bag can hold up to 10 bombs. So if you run across bomb flowers, be sure to fill up the bag. That's exactly what I was going to go do, my friend. That's exactly what I was going to go do. So yeah, it's just as easy as picking it up and pressing B. Really easy. I think more Zelda games should have this. Well, if we ever go back to classic Zelda. Because Tears of the Kingdom looks to be fairly similar to uh, Breath of the Wild. Which I hope that at some point we still do go back to classic Zelda because... Man, Breath of the Wild was a good game, but in my opinion, it was not a good Zelda game. I'm just gonna crush you, don't worry about it, thank you very much. Okay, now the problem is I actually can't get through here. That's the problem. However, oh shit, get off me. Oh, only one rupee? Are you kidding me? Jeez. What a bunch of jeep skates. I'm surprised that stayed there. I am in shock. I thought it was gonna roll down. Jesus Christ, dude. Give me a minute, huh? Man didn't even give me a minute to freaking get on the platform before he just went for it. My god. Alright. What have we got in here? More dig places. We still haven't gotten our map yet. It's usually rare to get the uh, dungeon item before the map, but welcome to Skyward Sword. This game was different. And very good for it. Even though I think most people still dislike this game because of uh two ow two major things: motion controls and linearity. The game was very linear. Get out of here! Oh, I missed. So our Skyward Strike does get a lot stronger later on when we unlock better swords. Get 
Get out of here. Fun fact, remember what I told you you can do? Oh, he freaking blocked it. What the heck? Come on, really? Get out of here. What the heck? He stayed up and he did it twice. Get out of here. Alright. Come on. Thank you. You have to wait for it to come back up. That was easy. I always thought it was kind of weird how Link just kind of holds his sword like that in this game. But it's whatever. <laughs> Yeah, because he kind of just holds his sword like... I mean, I guess it's better than most Link's, kind of, since at least he's keeping his sword in front of him, even when he's just walking around. Because most Link's just hold it at their side when you think about it. There we go. Oh! You see... Dude, I love the way the map works in, in, in Skyward Sword because it, it helps you solve puzzles. It's not just there to tell you, Hey, you haven't been to this room yet. No, it freaking helps you solve puzzles. Is this Zalfos going to be back? No, he's not. He's still gone. Good. Hope he stays that way. Yeah, you can just barely make it out. Wow. Okay. Yeah, once Link starts to make like make that noise is when you need to like There we go. Seriously, you're going to take multiple bombs. I love this dungeon is actually really good. Skyward Sword has some of the best dungeons in the series. Like, Skyward Sword and, um... I say that Skyward Sword and Twilight Princess have some of the better dungeons in the series. And that's, like, a fact, in my opinion. Come on! What you waiting for? An invitation? Get out of here. Just gonna... Don't mind me, I'm just gonna steal these bombs real quick. Okay, just hearts. That's that's boring, but okay. And then absolutely nothing. Oh, come on! Not a word of what just happened. Not a word. Don't want to hear it. Ah, uh, what? Well, huh? I thought it was far enough away that it wouldn't hit me, but okay. I guess I gotta be- oh, wait a minute. Oh boy! Why did I say, oh boy, what? Get out of here. You're bad at the video game. I wonder why they keep giving me seeds. Am I gonna need the slingshot in this dungeon as well? I mean, I had to use it once already, but... Got him. Could have just run him over as well. Probably would have worked better. Wait! No! Wow, that is one sturdy heart, huh? Okay. Let's just run this one over. Thank you. Okay, now let's see what we're looking at here. 
Hello, ball? Thank you. More money. What the f... The beetle, my friend. The beetle. Okay. There's one. And now time for the crazy one, where we have to go all the way around. Now, doesn't the beetle scare these things? That's funny. I find it funny that the beetle scares them, but Link doesn't. Booyah! How does that work? How does that work? I guess they must be holding something down. Right? So that that can stay... Or they're holding something up so that that can stay down, rather. Give me a second while I take these guys out. Yup. Okay. Just wanted to take those guys out in case they actually drop something for us. Come here! Darn it. I gotta wait for this thing to friggin'. Come here! Yeah! Oh, this is gonna be fun. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. We did it! We d oh god! Ow. Shoot. Just noticed I was on fire there. That could have been bad. Come here. Come here. that worked out. In reality, what is even over there? It's just a chest, but that could have rubies in it. Oh, I should have stopped. Oh, boy. Now I feel like an idiot. Whatever. It's fine. Oh, God. I know, I just remembered that there's like a bomb puzzle that we have to do here that's a bit of a pain. Again, bomb puzzles in the Zelda games are kind of can be a little bit trial and error sometimes. Whew. Okay. That's not what I know. Link! Oh no, hold on a minute. How is this fair? Link! Link, not again! Not again! I can't believe that's happened two, uh, twice in a row. Oh my god. That's itself. Stay away from the wall. Okay, there we go. Oh boy. Okay. Hearts. Okay. Not bad. Yep. It's exactly what I thought it would be. Now. Oh, that's fun. Higher. Come on! Blow up, blow up, blow up, blow up! Yeah! 
Okay, that's all I needed to do, right? Because the rest of this is just... yeah. So we just need that for stamina and to dodge those things. So as you can see, yeah, that puzzle can be a bit... If you keep missing it, you could... It can be a bit tedious. Oh, wow, bombs grow back super quick in this game. Jeez. What was that? What was that? Oh my god. Yep. What the heck? I just want to state that we're only 30 minutes into this. Like, not even 30 minutes in. Like, what the heck? Okay, here we go. <laughs> yeah, so not sure how many people here have seen that, uh, oh boy, that movie called Indiana Jones, but this is basically what Indiana Jones was! And I'm pretty sure that that's exactly where they got that from. Jeez, okay. Open up! Oh shoot, I gotta do this again. Wait. There we go. I don't know why he gets so surprised when that happens. It's like, what are you expecting, my friend? Okay. No, wait. What? Can't douse in here, but... Master, I detect Zelda's aura in the surrounding area. I detect it's an especially strong reaction from this chain. I'll calculate the probability Zelda was bound by it at recently at 95%. I surmise Zelda was somehow able to escape and proceed along this path. I suggest we continue with all possible speed. It's boss time! Because when is it not boss time? Oh, it's you. Let me see. No, that's not it. This is so very embarrassing. But I seem to be at a loss for your name. Not that it matters, really, to tell you the truth. I'm feeling a bit frustrated. And right now, I just need someone to vent to. I heard my underlings had finally captured the Spirit Maiden. So, of course, I rushed over here. What can I say? I was excited flustered even. But what did I find when I arrived? That agent of the goddess. She once again. You see what I'm trying to say is that goddess serving dog escaped with a girl. I must have the spirit married. 
in order to resurrect my master. I must have her! Got a little carried away there, didn't I? I don't deal well with complications to plans I've laid out so carefully. It's a character flaw of mine. Ah, but something good can still come from this day. I have had all this bottled up anger smoldering inside me, and now I can release it. There's someone special I'd like you to meet. Oh, don't be shy. I need to vent all this unhealthy anger, and your agony is such a great stress reliever. It won't take more than a few moments with my friend before you're charred to a satisfying crisp. And let me tell you, that will be put a spring in my step. This is fun. It's just a ball. Made of lava, I think. Molten? I don't know what they call that. The Pyroclastic Fiend Scaldera. So this is mostly... A lot of running and bomb throwing. It's really what this is. Wait for that to happen, let it explode, strike the eye, then run away. Oh boy. <gasps> okay, know the self, don't hit ZL. Of course, there are places here where you can get back the, um, back your bombs. I did it again! I'm gonna have to go back up and get more bombs. Eat that. What? Ah! Wait, did that count? Did that count as a hit? Oh, that's messed up for this guy. Oh, poor guy. Oh. Alright. Then there's this part. Where he goes all the way up. And then all the way back down. Dude, I really need to get back up, get up there and get more bombs. Oh my god. Now he's gonna drop down, guide himself over to where you were. Don't mind me, I'm just gonna grab some of these bombs. Oh my god, there's hearts up here too. Wow, you re they really don't want you to fail at this boss. Okay, show me what you got, kid. Come on, stand still, would you? Freaking eye darting all over the place. Easy boss, though, again. Like, nothing too difficult there. The first few bosses in this game aren't too difficult. Oh, God. I just remembered the imprisoned. <laughs> uh, let me tell you. Um, the imprisoned is actually the uh, the thing that has mo on multiple occasions 
ruined my my run of the boss gauntlet in this game to get the Hylian Shield. Because that's what you need to do to get the Hylian Shield. You need to run a boss gauntlet. So that's fun. Just stock up on my bombs. Oh my god, there's even more bomb flowers up here. Jesus. Anyway. And we continue. Cannot go to him, your grace. Remember what we discussed. Restrain yourself. Focus on the task at hand. I... I have to go. I'm sorry, Link. Took you far too long to get here. Looking at you, I feel the goddess is the goddess is mistaken in her choice of agents. If this failure is any indication, you have no hope of defending her grace from those who seek to assail her. Do my words anger you, boy? Do my words sting? Let them. If I had not come when I did, your Zelda would have already fallen into the hands of the enemy. The truth of it is, you were late. You were late, and you failed to protect her. I sent Zelda ahead to learn more of the fate in which she is destined to play a part. Listen well, Chosen One. If you wish to be help of help to her grace, you must summon a shred of courage and face the trials laid out before you. Only when you've conquered the trials will you be of use to Zelda. No sooner. Am I understood? Not my bloody fault I was late, I was frickin' fighting something if you didn't see. First I had to fight Gear him, and then I had to fight Smolgar or whatever the frick its name was. Did you even have to go through the whole dungeon? Because it didn't seem like it, none of the puzzles were solved. I won't be late next time, I'll tell you that much. Master, I have a message written in the language of the gods of old. Allow me to translate for you. From the edge of time, I guide you, the one destined to carry out the goddess's mission. The spirit maiden who descended from the clouds has passed through the earth spring and makes her way to a faded place. The parched desert of Laneru. That is where the goddess, with the chosen, will pass through the gate of time into a distant world. That's another stone tablet.
The Amber Tablet. What's up with that face link? I'm gonna have to find a way to get some money because I don't think we have enough for the next shield. I think the next shield is like 500 or 600. Yes, please. I'm actually surprised that that only took 40 minutes. I guess it's really like the later dungeons. The later dungeons might end up taking two whole episodes. That might be true. Okay, now the question is, did we get any more of those things? No, we didn't. Okay, so the current goal is just to get to Skyloft. Find everything we might need there. Prepare for the lane room. So the only thing we're really going to need is that shield. Then try and dive right over the Tsar. Okay, let's see how much this shield is actually going to cost us. Unfortunately, I don't think you can sell things in this game, so. Uh, you don't have the shield yet. That's shocking. Uh, <laughs> uh I just made an unintentional pun. <laughs> because the shield protects against, um, electrical attacks, so that was just a complete and total unintentional pun. Uh, I guess before the episode ends, if we still have time, I could, uh, show off some stuff up here in Skyloft World. Uh, and, I guess, is, is this whole area called Skyloft, or is it, is it just this town called Skyloft? I wonder how many people have actually just showed up at the goddess statue recently and just come down here and been like, what is going on down here? Oh, that is a giant piece. Oh, my God. Here we go again. Alrighty, then. I've confirmed the location of a third opening in the cloud barrier in the sky to the southwest. It will allow you to reach a new area on the surface. I suggest going there as soon as you are suitably prepared. Let's see how much this shield is going to cost me. I don't think I have enough. Which I find odd, because it goes from like 100 to like 200 rupees. Right, because like the wooden one is like 100, the iron one is like 200, and then the next one is like a, a massive increase in price. Not like you need a shield, again, I repeat, but it's helpful. He still doesn't have it. What? Am I going crazy? Oh, well, I guess... Kind of don't actually need it, now that I think about it. Right? Because the wooden shield can protect against electrical attacks. Can't it? I should think. Okay, I'm gonna take both shields with me just in case. But I'm pretty sure the... Oh, you can sell in this game! What the heck? I think the wooden shield should be able to protect against electrical attacks. I mean, it would only make sense. I mean, right? Does it? Hold on. I'm so just surprised that this shield is not there. I, I was almost certain in the locks at this point. Uh, after you defeat the imprisoned for the first time. Oh my god.
<sighs> okay, so yeah, the wooden shield can defend against electrical attacks, which I believe we are going to run into in the next area. I believe. I'm not certain, but I believe so. And that next shield does cost quite a bit. Uh, so actually, at the current moment, why don't I go show off some stuff? Might as well. Uh, there's really, like, two places that we can really go. Um, well, I guess really three. Uh, oh boy, I don't remember which one it is. I know it's not this one. Uh, let's go to Pumpkin Landing first, and then I'll show... I think it's one of these ones. I don't remember which one. But it's definitely one of the green ones. Um... Okay, yeah, because we definitely still have a lot of time left. Uh, you know, if you guys want to see... Shorter videos, I'm fine with making shorter videos. As a matter of fact, that would probably be more helpful to me. Um... I just like making longer videos because I feel like I can get more done in longer videos. Especially with games like the Chronicle series, I feel like those... Video, like those games need longer episodes because I don't you can't get really a lot done in most RPGs in 30 minutes Okay, there we are that's not the front entrance is it? Yep, here's the front entrance so fun fact We actually do have to come here later on in the game we do and, uh, notice how it pans upward. It pans upward and it shows this shot multiple times to show you, hey, there's a heart piece here. Uh, however, the heart piece kind of starts like a little quest line where it forces you to, um, do a few chores for, for this place. But you, you most definitely can very easily just... You roll into this multiple times, and that thing comes down. Why would you do that? Get down and come here this instant. I'll tell you why I did that. Number one, it has money on it. Number two, it has a heart piece on it. And I'm on a quest that could more than likely kill me. So I'm afraid I need this. Freaking put something as valuable as a heart piece on the damn thing. What, you think nobody's gonna try and get it down? What is wrong with you? Just look at what you've done. You broke my fancy custom order chandelier. You're gonna be working for me for free until you pay off every single rupee that chandelier cost me. Got that? You ready to own up to your own to your responsibility? Yeah, yeah, whatever. That's right, and I'm gonna hold you to that. Let's not waste any time putting you to work. I need to deliver my famous Aegis Skylo my famous suit to Aegis, Skyloft's Night Commander. The Night Commander is a regular here. He says he can't get his day started without a bowl of my suit. What do you say? Are you ready to deliver some soup to the Night Commander? Yeah, sure, whatever. <laughs> oh, hold on a while. Hold, hold, hey, hold on a minute. Now, hold on a minute. You want me to deliver something for you? But I have to use my empty bottle? What? Watch this. I just walked out on him. How about that? Darn, man. You serious? Well, I guess a heart potion is only 20 rupees. Or I could just not do this. I could just run away. Like, he can't stop me. Oh, shoot, I might actually have to... Okay, whatever, yeah, I'll just... I can pick up another one. We'll do this little quest line, because why not? Just little quests that it makes you do. Nothing too difficult. Yeah, 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 sure. 
It'll get cold in five minutes. Oh, for God's sake! Listen up, kid. The night commander hates cold soup. So you're gonna take this hot soup over to him. I'd say you deliver it in less than five minutes or the soup will get cold. Okay, let's go, 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 go! I already put a timer on my phone for five minutes. We gotta go. The night commander. Is that the one that tra trains with swords? Or am I thinking of a different one? Alright, it's a good thing I have one of the fastest loft wings that exist, huh? Oh boy, Skyloft is far away. Okay, come on! I need you to work with me here, bud. Okay, come on. We can take this thing. Go! Oh wow, we got here a lot faster than I thought. We still have freaking basically four minutes left. Please tell me I'm thinking of the right guy. Hey, dude, how you doing? Got places to be, sorry. Are you Aegis? Hey, Link. Have you been working hard on your swordmanship? Hmm. I smell something. I know that earthy aroma. Is that my favorite pumpkin soup? I asked the owner of the lumpy pumpkin to bring me some, but... You went out of your way to deliver some to me? Yeah, if that's what you want, that's what keeps you up at night. <laughs> yes, give it to me. I mean, if that's what keeps you asleep at night, ah, whatever. I sure certainly didn't do this against my will. I certainly wasn't forced to to pay off what I uh, what I did. Well done. Say thanks to the owner for me. Yeah, yeah, shut up. <sighs> okay, good thing that was there. That's certainly helpful. Hey, bud, how you doing? Okay. Take a right, and off we go. Back to Pumpkin Land. Which my thing is still on, thankfully. I think it's the only deliver we actually have to do. Uh. Man, Skyward Sword really does feel like an adventure, huh? Oh, I never grabbed my freaking potion. Ah, oh, darn it, I'll do that later. If I would have caught that freaking bird, I would have had exactly the money I needed for it. I'll do that before the episode ends, hopefully. Oh, boy. All right. I don't even know what I'm going to call this episode. I'm still trying to figure out what to call it. Looks like you were able to deliver the soup to Aegis safely. I'll subtract your wages from the bill for the chandelier. And if you think that we're even, you better think again. Next, I need you to help I need you to help harvest the pumpkins. And I'm not taking no for an answer. Fine. This should be an easy one for you. Kina spends her afternoons picking pumpkins in the patch out back. Carry those to the storage shed. Kina can give you the details. Oh, but you can only work on the patch during the day. There's no telling what will happen under the night sky. She can come back out and go out the back door. Since you're basically an employee. <laughs> I believe this is actually more akin to a minigame. Oh, 
and your next job has been decided. Looks like you'll be helping me with the, with the pumpkin harvest. What a relief. Do you have any idea how heavy these pumpkins are? Oh yeah. You think there's going to be a piece of pumpkin cake, do you? <laughs> Let's make this interesting. How about you carry five pumpkins at once? You better take it slow, or you'll risk rocking them. Just get out there and haul those pumpkins. All right, let's do this. Okay, then. I'll show you where you need to carry the pumpkins. That's where you need to carry the pumpkins? See that storage shed up ahead? Carry the pumpkins there. The trick to carrying several pumpkins at once is to walk slowly. If they start to lean right, move right. If they start to lean left, move left. Take your time and keep your balance. But if you start to panic, if you start, if, but if you panic and start to rush, well, you're going to drop them. So, good luck. Again, minigame. Why do they keep moving right? Stop moving right. Okay. Okay. Doing really good at the current moment. Yo, hey, calm yourself. Whoa. Okay. There we go. I just knew you would come through. You managed to carry them all. I guess that means you're done carrying pumpkins. Thank you very much. Again, mini game. Very easy. Not nothing too difficult here. I believe there's one more thing he needs us to do, and then we'll be done. Impressive! You're done harvesting all those pumpkins. But don't celebrate yet. You still got a ways to go before you paid off that fancy chandelier. Give me some time to think about what I need you to work on next. Just come back and see me. You have my assignment. No, thank you. Okay. Well, I guess we're done for right now. <sighs> but we got a heart piece. That's all that matters. Let's head back to Skyloft, go to the bazaar, get the stuff that we need. And uh, then we'll end the episode. Next episode, we can take off towards the Lanayru Desert. Until then, uh, and I guess after we finish up in the the Lanayru Desert and we have to come back up, that's when we'll, uh, we'll check to see if this guy has our, our third job for us. There's actually quite a few quests, like side questy type things in, uh, in Skyward Sword. Skyward Sword's a pretty big game now that I think about it. Definitely might not have a, a world uh, in terms of like gameplay world as vast as something like Breath of the Wild, but you know. Okay. Okay. Here we are. Ma'am, I need some of your red potion. Yeah, 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 shut up. Yes, please. There we go. Okay, then. We are done here. So, I need to find bird statue. Bird statue. Thought there was one around here. Guess not. She 
should be one around here, I believe. Yep, right here. Okay. Well then. We'll end today's episode off here. Thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed today's episode, you know what to do. Please share the video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure to hit that bell icon so you get notified when I make a new video. Schedule is every day at 5.30 p.m. And I'll see you all on the next episode of The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword HD.